Hello there and welcome to the Sandlot. I am going to show you all about our new economy plugin and how to get money, how to buy things, how to sell things, and eventually how to set up your own shop. Now first, our economy plugin is very similar. It's in fact the same as you may have seen on other servers. Other servers, however, will let you start with money, or get money by killing monsters, or you can get money by planting trees, or just getting a paycheck, or whatever. Uh, the only way to get money on the sandlot is to mine, smelt, and turn into the bank gold. Now you can either turn in gold bars, or you can turn in gold nuggets. It's up to you. Now, to see how much money you have, and everyone starts with zero, there's a very simple command. You can type slash econ, and as you can see, I'm starting off with zero coins. Now, as you turn in gold, you get coins. As you buy things, you use coins. If you sell things from your shop, you can earn coins that way but the only way to get coins is to either turn gold into the bank or to sell things through your shop so let's go first check out the bank and see how we can get some coins that way if you notice in my inventory I have 10 gold bars and the bank is right here in spawn if you come down here to the main road you can see the bank and all of the signs for depositing and withdrawing your gold are right here on the front you can use these two signs on the left you see it says deposit gold for coins here this is where you turn your gold in to get your coins now you can turn in gold nuggets or you can turn in gold bars or ingots or whatever you want to call them I happen to have 10 gold bars so that's what I'm going to turn in now you can select these and hold these but you don't have to do that you can even have them in your inventory I can put them up here and that's fine as long as I have them I can walk up to this sign and click it and I just turned one gold bar in for nine coins now I can type slash econ and it says I have nine coins so let's sell the rest of my gold bars Oh, now I don't have any more so let's see how many I sold I have 90 coins and 9 times the 10 gold bars I have should have been 90 so hey that worked out now over here these two signs where I withdraw say somewhere down the road I want to make a gold helmet but I turned in all my gold I don't have any gold from the bank well I need 5 gold bars to make a gold helmet so let's see, five gold bars, if they're nine each, I should have 45 coins to get that. Well, I have 90 coins. So let's come up to this sign. Now to get anything back from the bank, you have to right click the sign. So if I right click this, I got, there, I'm selling my, getting my gold back from the bank. There, I have five. So then I can go somewhere and make my helmet if I really wanted to do that. But I don't. So I'm going to sell it back to the bank. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the bank. Now you can think of the bank as a place to just keep your money so you don't have to carry it around with you. Uh, you can take your gold as you get it and just store your gold in the bank. And you're carrying around these virtual coins that you don't have if you die they don't go anywhere you always keep your coins and if you happen upon someone's shop out in the wilderness you have your money with you you can think of it as a an ATM card that you can pay with wherever you are so you have to take your money with you and you don't have to worry about carrying it or losing it so that there is how the bank works okay now we're going to go over how to buy and sell from shops it's actually pretty easy you just have to know what these signs mean the first line it's pretty obvious is the owner of the shop the last line that's pretty obvious that this shop is buying or selling dirt the other lines are the cost and how many I'm getting the third line has a B on it that means I can buy from this shop and whatever I'm buying, I'm buying for two coins. 
the second line is how many of those things I get for one transaction. So this is telling me I can buy one dirt for two coins. Now if I think that's a good idea, I just walk up to the sign and right click the sign if I have the money to do it. So I actually have 90 coins, so I'm going to right click the sign and buy some dirt. Now I bought one dirt for two coins. So if I do my slash econ again, I should have 88 coins. Easy enough. Now this shop over here is the same thing except it has an S on it. What that means is I can sell to this shop. Instead of buying from it, I instead of right clicking to buy, I can left click to sell. So there, I just sold my dirt for two coins and I should have 90 coins. That's pretty cool. Now, what's really nice is if I wanted to do this and have a shop that can buy and sell dirt, you can do that with one shop. Just by putting a colon there on the third line and separating your buy and sell price. So this shop will buy one dirt for two coins or I can sell one dirt for two coins. So if I want to buy, I right click, I bought a dirt, and if I want to sell, I left click and sell it back. It works pretty easy. So that's how you buy and sell from shops. Now I'm going to go over how to make your own shop that you can buy from or sell to other players. It's actually pretty easy, you just have to make a sign like the ones you just saw. So the first thing you need to do is put a chest wherever you want your shop to be. So I'm going to put my chest right here and I'm going to put my shop sign right above it. Now I have to fill this out correctly and the way to know that is when I'm done my name will show up on the first line. So I actually don't want to put anything on the first line so I'm going to hit enter to go down to the second line. On the second line I want to put how many of these things, whatever my shop is going to be, I'm going to sell. This shop is going to sell diamonds and I'm going to sell one diamond for 100 coins. So to do that, I want to sell one diamond. I'm going to just put a one on the second line and hit enter. And then I want to type B because I want the player to be able to buy from this shop. So B for buy, 100 is the number of coins. On the third line, I'm just going to type diamond. I can type that all caps or lowercase. It doesn't matter. So that's all I need to type in here. Now if I did it right, when I click done, it'll fill in my name on the top line. That's pretty cool. Now if I want someone to be able to buy stuff from here, I need to have stuff to put in there. So in your chest you can just put your items that you're selling and now someone can come up to that shop and buy a diamond for a hundred coins. Pretty easy. Now let's say I want to sell this spruce wood now when I scroll over it, Mojang happened to make it nice that they tell me what this is, but strangely enough, this is called a red wood log in the code for the game. How would I know that? Well, if you hold any item, you can type slash item info, and it will show you what that item is as well as its code. So this is actually called a red wood log and its item code is 17 colon 1. I can do that for anything. I can do that for this crafting table. If I do slash item info, this is called a workbench. So if I wanted to sell these, I would put workbench on the last line. And as I showed you previously, you can set up these shops to buy and sell the same item on the same chest. Pretty easy. So there you go. Go out, have fun, make some shops, make some coins, and have a great time playing on the sandlot.